what is up guys and welcome back to the game plus today i'm gonna show you a quick video quick tutorial on how to install dolphin emulator as you guys know with my other tutorials i use allscore to sign all my apps and uh, i have a whole tutorial on how to install all store and have it set it up on your computer and i'm gonna have the picture here so you guys see what i'm talking about and i also ha gonna have the link down below in the video description so you could check that tutorial first before jumping into this one uh, in this video as requested by one of my subscribers i'm going to show you how to install the dolphin emulator for your ios device in this case i'm going to be using my ipad pro but it will work the same for your iphone as well or any other ios devices that you have okay so like i mentioned before you need to have also already installed as you guys can see i have um, dolphin down here installed but i'm going to delete it I'm gonna remove it completely so I can show you start to finish how to install it. In this section here inside of the also app, in my apps, you can see all the apps that has I loaded using Allstore. So now let me show you using Allstore how to get the Dolphin emulator. So after you open Allstore, you're gonna click on browse. After you click on browse, this is the first time after you finish installing the Alstor app in your iOS device you're gonna go with it says sources I'm gonna click on sources and now also support trusted sources where you could get app that you know they're gonna be safe they're gonna have anything weird on it so it's gonna be completely safe they were tested and they were also approved by the developer or also that's why I use Alstor and I use some all the trusted sources inside on my sources file in my outstore app you're gonna see some in the area here down below and trust the sources the one that you want to apply and add to your sources is gonna be the oatmeal dome also source that's the one where you're gonna be getting the dolphin emulator they're gonna have two version you're gonna have the stable version and the beta version i always use the beta version because it comes with more it's more up to date we testing features and new stuff before the stable version is even released so you make you make sure you add the oatmeal dome as your source and after you're done doing that just for the sake of it just close it close the app open it again and then when you go to browse again and you tell and you type let's find the dolphin game in it is called di uh, let's see the i type dolphin dolphin there we go so after you type type dolphin uh, on the browser section here you're gonna see two versions the first the first version you see on the top is the stable version they came out with a new version uh the stable one is based on the previous beta that allowed you to use all jit and all of that it's now available in the stable version but like i said for my case i always like to be using the developer version or the beta version so i'm going to be using the public beta so i'm going to click on the public beta and even though it's still loaded right now uh give it some time but you can actually try to install it it should be able to work so you're going to click on what it says free and you're going to start trying to download and install the app that's one way to get it and also the other way is you can go to the website and allow the the api file to install it using art store uh also gonna leave down below in the video description a link to my personal google drive where i have the latest versions available i will skip it up today just in case you want to silo it instead of just going adding sources and just looking for it one by one <laughs> So as you can see the page loaded and it's actually doing the installation right now i also want to show you something else because they asked me uh, i get this question as a lot with some of the emulators like where to place the gains in order for the emulator to find it so i'm gonna show you real quick with an example with this emulator real quick i want to show you how how that worked okay so now it's, it's installed so if we go here on my home screen you see that the app is now available it's here so it's already here, but I don't have any games. The reason why I open the app first is because when you try to uh, go to your files app, usually you're gonna see a folder that has the the picture or the emulator or the name of the emulator. That folder will not be created on your files app unless you launch the app for the first time. 
The reason why we launched that app is because we need a certain folder where we're gonna place our games in there. This emulator, Dolphin emulator, uh, you're gonna need that folder to place the GameCube and the Wii games. So after the folder is created, you click on the folder, the games, your games you need to put it where it says software. That's where you need to add your games. So now I'm going to jump into my computer. I have the screen ready for you guys to see. Right now, give me a second and I'm getting this ready so I could show you from the computer. Okay, now that I'm in my computer, you're gonna need two things. You could either use, I mean, you're gonna need, you could do either of these two options. You could either use your iTunes or you could just uh, manually like transfer everything and down, download it from your Google Drive, whatever you had your backup save for your games. So in my case, I'm gonna use iTunes. This is the fastest one that I use, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So after you open iTunes, you're gonna click on your device. In this case, I'm gonna click on my iPad right here. That's the one that I have connected. Now you're gonna go down below where it says file sharing. So you're gonna click in here and you're gonna have a list of the app that I install in your device. But this, uh, the, the list for this app that I install on the device are basically the ones that you could actually see like the folders inside here of the file app. Those are the ones that are showing here. So you're gonna look for the Dolphin emulator and you're gonna click on this. As you can see, I click on the Dolphin app on my computer and it's pulling out all the folders that I, you guys can see right here. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna be placing the, the files in the software folder. Even though you transfer it from here, if it doesn't go inside the folder, it's gonna be basically coming outside or um, accumulate with the folders in here so, and then you just gotta move it to the uh, software folder so now for the sample i have a uh, i'm gonna turn for one of my games let me open my other window here so i could show you my games i'm gonna turn for one of my favorite games of all time which is resident evil 4 and we're gonna just basically drag it place it here you can see the process is transferring the game already and as you see right now on my ipad screen you could actually see the file like i said it's not even though you select the folder where you want the game to go it's not gonna be placing the game in there it's just gonna place it outside with all the files so as you guys can see right here on the computer screen and you can see also on my ipad the file is done transferring and it's outside all the other folders so now in order for the emulator to see the game you need to grab this file and you need to move it again inside of the software folder so after you do that and you open the emulator again it might take like a few seconds or you will have to close and open the app again because the app it will start like to search for those uh, for those any files inside of your golfing software folder so as you guys can see after i closed it and open it again it found the game so the game is already here and that's it guys that's all you need to do and i also give you a quick tutorial on how to what or where to place your uh, your games in order for this to work so there you go that's all you needed to do this is how to install the Dolphin emulator and where to place the, the files in order for you to actually see the game inside of your emulator. So I hope this video was helpful and if, if it did, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any question and also in order to support my channel you can always subscribe and share my videos, it's helped me a lot so I appreciate your time and I hope that you find this video helpful. Thanks again guys and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.